Today, we are gonna be ranking and tasting every fast food taco in America to find out which one is the best. Not only that, we're gonna take the best ingredients of the best and make the ultimate fast food taco that could exist. I've seen the videos, burgers, fries, chicken sandwiches. They all make me sick. It's time to shine the spotlight on one of the most popular fast food items in the world the American taco. Now, of course, I couldn't do this alone, so I asked my friend Mark, a veteran fast food taco artiste, a retired professional taco maker, to join me on this quest. Bottom line, he knows tacos. Now, before we start, we have rules. Number one, each taco chain has to have at least 100 locations nationwide. Number two, it has to be a fast food taco chain, meaning no servers or wait staff, and of course, it has to have a drive through And number three, most importantly, each of these restaurants must serve a crunchy, hard shell ground beef taco. Basically, the taco emoji. Generic, yellow, American. The rest is simple. We will be rating these tacos on a scale of one to 10 based on the quality of three things. The ground beef, the cheese, and the crunchy taco shell. This journey is gonna take us across a few states and it is not going to be easy to hit them all. Now, I'm gonna be eating a lot of tacos in this video. And I know if you're watching this video, you love tacos. So, you know what? I'm gonna give you a taco. All you have to do is tell me how many tacos I eat in total on camera during this video starting now. The first 50 people to subscribe and comment with the correct answer will get a fast food taco of their choice on me. Let's go. First up, a huge fast food chain known for their burgers and fries, but low-key loved by many for their tacos. Jack in the Box. Hey, hey, can I please have two orders of two tacos, please? Just say four tacos. That's, that, yep, that's all. Why did you say it like that? It's because the order, one order is two tacos. Yeah, you just say, can I get four tacos? But that's okay, but that, that doesn't imply you could do that. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not, it's just, it's just me, not you. Thank you so much. All right, time to test the Jack. All right. Right, so this is all shell. Man, look at that. There's like one half scoop of meat in this whole taco. And the ground beef is almost flavorless. It's almost like I'm eating like just flavorless food. I can't even tell it's ground beef. The cheese is like melted into the beef, but it's like baked cheese almost. I don't know why people always talk about how they like tacos from Jack in the Box. Some people are like, oh, I don't know why, but I love them. Maybe if I was drunk, I think the taco train Jack in the Box was good. But I'll be honest, man, I'm giving this like a like a 3.5. Once again, weird cheese that was melted in with the weird flavorless ground beef. This isn't really part of our grading scale, but just for the record, like there's no lettuce, no tomatoes. Everybody knows that about Jack in the Box. And then the shell, I will say the shell was crispy, but that's about it. That was the only redeeming quality. It was like all shell. That's it. Clown, Jack in the Box. I was talking about uh, inflation happening. These tacos have been two for 99 cents since I was a child. Not much has changed about them. Look at this. Just poorly. I don't even know where this is made. This had to be made, maybe frozen, shipped in. This isn't freshness right here. And let's be honest, you're not going to Jack in the Box for freshness. It's nothing but shell, a little bit of meat. I'm going to open it up, see what it looks like on the inside. I'm curious. I shouldn't have done that. It makes it less appealing. It feels like a paste and not like ground beef. It doesn't feel beefy. And the shell, I don't know if y'all can hear it. Listen, it kind of feels like cardboard a little bit. I don't feel like a real taco shell. It's mutating me on the inside, I'm betting. But if I was drunk, probably the best thing in the world. But since I'm not and I'm sober, I can't enjoy this. Three. We're setting the bar low with a fairly disgusting taco from Jack in the Box. Moving on to a taco chain that's located in southern states, Taco Bueno. Hey, how's it going? Uh, could I just please have uh, three regular, like, crunchy beef tacos? Why did you get three? So I can film one. Oh. oh, oh. And then we eat the. You're smart. I thought we were just going to share one. Split it down the middle. Like <laughs> a f***ing couple. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right, so one thing I can already say that I don't like, yeah, Taco Bueno, the un-American thing about Taco Bueno. The sauce comes in a nice little upscale. I want the packets, bro. That's right? Yeah, I feel ya. The packets, they don't have packets. Gotta use my teeth on that. It's whatever, I'll try it later. Taco Bueno's beef taco, let's try it. The shell's pretty crispy. Brown beef's actually not bad. I like the balance of the lettuce and cheese. Our cheese is pretty good. Overall, I have to say it's definitely not bad. Also, nothing to eat anything about it to do. It's kind of like I could have bought this stuff at the grocery store and just kind of put this taco together. There's nothing that's really stopping me from like. So, so it's an at home taco in the drive thru? Kind of like an at home taco in the drive thru. Like I overpaid for like my own taco by the drive thru. And I have no knowledge of how to make good taco. Yeah. That's kind of how it is for me. How many tacos out of 10 are you giving? I give this taco, I would say maybe like a 6.5. 6.5. Yeah. Taco Bueno, Taco 6.5. Yeah. Moment of truth, Taco Bueno, ground beef taco. Looks edible. It's not bad. Good salt and beef right there, man. Ain't enough cheese on my like that. I'll show you that way. There's probably any cheese on here. I was starving, but the only thing that was left for me was this taco. I'd probably take a bite or two. This shell sucks though. It's falling apart. No integrity. Solid six. And with that, Taco Bueno takes the lead, but they have a lot of competition because there are many more stops to make on this taco train. Next up, we have two more Texas-based taco chains. First is Taco 
Taco Cabana. Hi there, can I please have three uh, regular crunchy ground beef tacos? Thank you. Taco Ooh, Cabana. Here it is. Taco Cabana. All right, Taco Cabana. First of all, another very un-American package right here. I mean, look at that, dude. That's not, we want a little plastic pollute and destroy the earth container with ink on it. This is, this is like a restaurant, okay? But they did have a drive-thru and a crunchy ground beef taco, so I had to include it. Let's try Taco Cabana. Shell is pretty good. It's decent. I'd say shell is kind of on par between like Taco Bueno and Taco Bell. Has some decent Christmas to it. Christmas. Christmas. Some decent Christmas. Crispness. <laughs> good amount of beef. They do give you a really good amount of ground beef. Not gonna lie about that. It's not the best tasting ground beef seasoning. Like it's seasoned, but it just it doesn't have the best flavor. The lettuce and cheese they give you is a decent amount. It's not a really generous amount of cheese. Kind of like a mediocre amount of cheese. They do give you quite a bit of food overall in the taco, but definitely not bad. But it's also not the best. I give the taco cabana taco like a 7.5. We're at the cabana, taco cabana, no paper sleeves, then a styrofoam container. Imagine you just got lunch and you're trying to eat it in a rush. How do you do this? Do you open this, drive at the same time though? It's just absurd. I want a, a wrapper. I want it pre packed. It's a good looking taco. I'll give them that much. I don't know if they're all supposed to have tomatoes, but this one you gotta get does not. I feel like I'm getting ripped off somehow. There's hardly any cheese. Good amount of beef. Here you go. It's gonna taste like a cool cafeteria food to me. A very heavy set lunch lady just handed me a taco with very short amount of school bucks to make it good. Who's What do you give it? I'd like a six, less than a six. Give me a five on that one. Taco Bell was better than that. That was horrible. I'm not gonna get that shit out of here. Sitting in a tie with Taco Bueno, we rated these two to be equally average. We decided to break this tie by trying their hot sauces to see which one was better. And we chose to go with Taco Cabana's hot sauce over Taco Bueno, putting Cabana in the lead. Now onto one of the low key favorite taco chains of Texas Texans and surrounding southern states, Taco Casa. Now, Taco Casa actually has some interesting rumors going on about them. Many people say that the founder of Taco Casa took old recipes that were abandoned by Taco Bell back when Taco Bell was purchased by PepsiCo in 1978, and that they made them their own under the Taco Casa brand. I looked into this myself, and after some research, it appears to be nothing more than a rumor. Let me know in the comments if you've heard of this as well, or if you have any evidence that this rumor is actually true. I think this mainly comes from the idea that Taco Casa's food looks similar to the food presented in old Taco Bell commercials from that time. Either way, we're definitely putting the Casa up against the Bell head to head in this ranking today, so we'll see what happens. Uh, hi, can I please have three crunchy tacos? Thank you, sir. All right, man, thank you. She can give me my card back right away. All right, Taco Casa, first of all, notable different thing, they have a drug dealer bag. <laughs> like, there's no branding, there's no logo. Turn it around and make sure. It's almost, it's almost, that's the best part of a Taco Casa bag, is just like, you know, just the no branding. It, it, nondescript. All right, so Taco Taco, taco Casa Tacos. Taco Casa. So, there's the shell. Nice greasy beef Ooh, there. Oh, yeah. Let's try it. Let's try it. So, first of all, one of my favorite parts about Taco Casa is the shell. The shell is, like, not too hard, but it's also not too soft. Perfect amount of crisp, and the way that they fry their taco shells is, like, nice and bubbly. Look at that. It's like they already did it there or something. Mm -hmm. So, you almost couldn't help but take a second bite. The cheese, they give me tons of really good shredded cheese. A good amount. The lettuce, they don't put a lot, but it's almost like you don't need a lot. Look at that hefty helping of ground beef. No inflation there. The ground beef is really good, really well seasoned. Overall, this is like when I think of like what it would be like to have a really good fast food taco, like a good crunchy taco for a fast food chain. This is one that is like perfect to me. Like I've always been impressed from the first time I had a Taco Casa taco. So I give the Taco Casa taco, let's say 8.8. I'm gonna go ahead and be honest with y'all. I'm biased, all right? I've been looking forward to this part of the, the day. Taco Casa is where it's at for me. I'm gonna peel the onion to y'all a little bit. This one's been sitting in the bag for a little while. And even the grease didn't break the shell. Still intact, that's what a taco shell is supposed to be. Not falling apart. And these things are greasy, and that's part of the appeal. Well seasoned, well meated, cheesed out. I mean, in a time of inflation, things going up, shrinkflation happening. Taco Casa said, no way, dude. Well, no what? And I respect it. I already knew what score I was gonna give it. I'm gonna go ahead and be honest with you. A solid nine. It's not a fancy restaurant. It's a fast food restaurant with some of the best hard shell tacos I've ever had in my life. So I'm going to finish this in an obscenely manner and you're going to watch me. Sure. Shooting right up to the top, Taco Casa takes the lead with a strong 8.9. Okay, so the next couple taco stops require trips to a few different parts of the country. Because if you're new to my channel, I'm a traveling stand-up comedian. So I took advantage of upcoming shows out of state to continue my taco tasting journey. My first stop on the road is Taco Time, a large taco chain in western and northwestern states. Now, being solo out of town, I didn't have a car. And even though Taco Time has a drive-through, I didn't want to make my Uber driver go through it. So since I was pressed for time, I hit up
up the closest taco time to the comedy club and grabbed a taco. All right, taco time, taco, here we go. To be honest, it's not really that different from Taco John's, honestly. It's the same kind of thing as Taco John's where like the beef wasn't really great, the meat and the seasoning wasn't anything special, the shell, everything. I mean, it's pretty much like, you know, the same kind of taco in that it's nothing really special. I could have gone to the store and just bought all this generic stuff without doing anything extra special or really knowing how to make taco seasoning or something and just having this taco. You know, it's like kind of buying a homemade taco that you didn't really need any skill to make and there's nothing signature and nothing unique about it. So I give the Taco Time Taco a 4.9. With an unimpressive score, Taco Time takes a slight lead above the bottom. My next stop on the road is Taco John's, a huge taco chain in the Midwest. But this time, I don't have to do this taco tasting alone. I have my friend and fellow comedian, Travis Nelson, to help me taste and rank Taco John's. Hi, can I get uh, three of the crunchy beef tacos? It's pretty good. Like the ground beef is like a little bit run together. It's like a little watery. Um, the cheese is okay. It doesn't stand out a lot from like the beef and the taco. Um, the shell, I feel like it's, it's crispy. Like it's a hard shell taco, but it's not super crispy. Like it's not like really ultra like stands out. It doesn't really hold the taco like in a big way. You had this all figured out before you came and ate here because you took one bite and you were describing every single part of the taco before you You swear to God, no. I just thought about how I was going to talk about it, but I've never had it. I thought about how I was going to talk about it. Oh, you've never had Taco John's? Never in my life. Oh, wow. Literally, bro. This is the first time I've ever had Taco John's. Wow. I give the taco like a 5.2. It's okay, Taco. Nice and sweaty in the soup rolls. It's pretty good. What do you think? Good taco. The meat's not gross. Yeah. Anything pretty else about it? All right. Um, the nutty notes of... <laughs> <laughs> Mahogany color. Uh, uh -huh. Tastes pretty good. It's yeah. kind of like smaller taco shell, more like a almost like a um, jack in the box, but higher quality, obviously. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's our, it's our first time eating them. It's our first time eating them. Was that supposed to be like a prank? I'd give it a salt stick. And this time the drive through workers decided to see what we thought. That was weird. Anyway, that score puts Taco John's toward the low end of the middle so far. I'm going to be honest. Doing comedy on the road can take it out of you. And these tacos are too. But I had to stay strong, focused, and show my commitment to the taco. Next stop on the comedy and taco road is Del Taco. This California-based taco chain has restaurants all over the United States. Once again, I was traveling to the comedy club and pressed for time, so I had to hit Del Taco alone. It's a lonely life out here. Hi, can I please have just uh, two crunchy tacos? Dude, I'm so tired of eating tacos right now. <laughs> I'm so tired of eating tacos every day. I just totally saw a Del Taco employee go from Del Taco over into Chick-fil-A. On their break, naughty, naughty, traitor. He's a traitor is what he is, bro. Stay loyal to the tacos. No chicken sandwiches. Del Taco Crunchy Taco. Here we go. Ground beef is pretty good. It's juicy. There's not a ton of seasoning in the ground beef. It's not terrible, but it's also not really flavorful either. There's also not a ton of it. There's like a decent amount of ground beef, but not an incredible amount of ground beef. So, you know, it's decent. Decent amount of lettuce and tomatoes. I know that's not really what we're judging. It's like cheese, ground beef, and taco shell, but still, there's like three tomatoes in this. And, you know, just like bonus points, a little side note there is a good amount of cheese in the taco for real the shell is nice and crispy it is a decent shell it's not the most flavorful shell that i've tried so far out of all the tacos but it definitely isn't the worst either and it definitely is very crisp nice crunch i think i'm gonna go ahead and give the del taco taco i'm gonna give it a solid seven out of ten now that i'm back home with mark we continued our taco journey with a bit of a controversial stop chipotle now we debated about including chipotle in this list because they are slightly different and more high-end but after some evaluation we decided that a a, they are too big of a Mexican theme chain to be ignored, and B, if we're careful, they technically qualify under our rules. They have a crunchy taco shell option, they serve shredded barbacoa beef, which is pretty damn close to ground beef, and they now have pre-order drive throughs at the majority of their restaurants. So we kept it simple, ordering hard shell tacos with beef, cheese, lettuce, and tomatoes only. Either one. Thank you so much. Mm, good. All right, three tacos. Mm. Chipotle. Fast food. That's what they say. This is not. That's not fast food in America. In taco container, right? Simply too involved it looks like it's way too fancy uh-uh my waistline's thinning as i speak looking at that I'm becoming more educated yeah they created this using the metric system give me a look at them all right Healthy tacos. All right, let me get one with a good amount of lettuce in here. Health kick. All right, so there's taco. Chipotle, crunchy taco. Here we go. Barbacoa is really well seasoned. I gotta be honest, man. The crunchy shell, it's kind of flimsy. It is sound shell crunchy. itself is kind of soggy. The cheese is obviously, you know, it's Chipotle. The cheese is very high quality. The cheese is very flavorful. The shredded cheese. Um, The lettuce is good. Look at this, though. I got, like, a head of lettuce in this taco order. Like, way too much lettuce. Like an Italian thing that salad is. Look at that, dude. Look at that taco shell. Sir, it's so flimsy. That looks familiar. That's, like, soaking wet. That's not 
not good. This isn't their thing. All right, so obviously if the ingredients themselves are really high quality. It is Chipotle, which I do love Chipotle for other stuff, but because we're talking about a fast food crunchy taco, I'd say that, like I said, the meat and cheese are really good. The lettuce was pretty crisp, but that shell just really set them back. I'm gonna give Chipotle 6.5. Chipotle, uh, it's not a bee taco, it's a, uh, what is it again? A barbacoa taco. Yeah. That's already a strike against them right there. Some tomato cheese. I guess I gotta add my own lettuce to this out of the I gave it a whole head of lettuce and I gotta figure it out myself. Yet again, another strike. Moment of truth. Look at this. It's already starting to, to give way. You can see it. The meat is all right. You know what I'd say I talked about had better flavored meat. There's no crunch. The cheese less is good. I'll give you that much. Fast food tacos. I'm not feeling that, you know? 4.5 client book. It's not what I want. 4.5? Yeah. I would give this to a homeless person and they'd be mad at me. This isn't a taco, they'd say. 4.5. Now, this is surprising. Even though Chipotle is considered by most people to be higher quality, we find them toward the bottom of the fast food taco ranking, which goes to show you that having fancy ingredients doesn't mean that you make a better crunchy taco. Finally, the stop that everyone knew was is coming the biggest most recognizable taco chain in the world taco bell hey can i just please have uh three uh crunchy tacos thank you appreciate it <laughs> bell baby the bell reckoning day the yes. ultimate all right taco bell taco bell baby let's do it all right i gotta say man after having a couple of the other chains that i haven't had before taco bell's ground beef is like pretty good like their mix of their taco their taco seasoning and the ground beef is actually pretty good and like their lettuce to cheese ratio they definitely skimp you on the cheese there's like 10 little kernels of cheese in here i think they call those shreds 10 shreds of cheese in here lettuce is almost fucking white not the best lettuce but definitely like a good crunch to the shell anyone in particular so far that you can throw under a bus i'd say taco bell shell definitely better than taco john's taco shell mm -hmm. also i'd say the ground beef is definitely better than taco john's off the top of my head so overall i'd say i give the taco bell crunchy taco i'm giving it a 7.5 damn 7.5 uh -huh. bell's ringing we're gonna answer the call today look at that neon yellow shell a little bit of cheese a lot of lettuce something they call taco meat damn that meat is tasty the ground beef is pretty good right mm -hmm. especially after you had taco bueno and like all the other ones yeah damn all right i'm gonna go ahead and be honest i walked in here wanting to hate i really did it's pretty fucking good the only thing i would do different was no lettuce more cheese you know what god damn it. i was ready to hate this place might give it an eight give it an eight yeah okay and i swear to god we are not this video is not like low-key sponsored by taco bell unless they want to work something out yeah jeez it's, it's not bad right seasoning. it's a pretty damn good crunchy fast food taco i avoid taco bell on principle this is something i did to see coming of me enjoying it Fuck, this is the first taco i'm actually finishing all the way now that was almost as much of a surprise as chipotle but in the other direction taco bell takes second place right behind taco casa in the ranking we did not expect that at all but as you can see taco casa wins by a solid lead it really is a great taco so there it is the final ranking but what if you made a taco that is better than all of them a franken taco of supreme goodness as promised i'm going to take the best ingredients from each taco and make the ultimate taco that could exist so i took the highest ranked taco shell from taco casa combined some of their juicy ground beef with the ground beef from taco bell and the high quality barbacoa beef and cheese from chipotle i threw it all together and mmm that's a good Franken taco, especially when you add some hot sauce heat. And if you're looking for some heat, I highly recommend combining the Taco Casa hot sauce. They only have one kind of hot sauce and the Taco Bell fire sauce. So get some extra heat on there. Heat, baby. Heat. See ya.